so on edge. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're making me uncool now. Oh. Oh, I got a ring in the ear from that one. A ring went. You can hear ringing in your ear, it's that frequency dying. Wow. Yo, what's up everyone? Lumia log number 34. Lots of stuff's been happening, I guess, since the last last um, log that we delivered, uh, 33. One thing that has been in the works in the background is we have been developing a product all around this course creation space. We see that there's a real growing market for education online, and we have developed a product where we partner with people who have uh, great skills to help them leverage their IP. So we've done two of these courses so far. One of them was Dave King from Under the Hood, and another one was, she's almost part of the team, Asha, artistry, makeup artist. Um, we've done a course for her as well. So, bro, tell the world what. <laughs> tell us about it. I'm, I'm waiting for your frequency to die in my end. <laughs> the course space online is a really uh, good opportunity for a whole range of different people, educators, creators, anyone who can solve a problem for someone else. So we're really excited about developing this course offering. We've partnered with a guy called Greg Burgoyne, who is a wizard in the whole online world of course creation. And so he brings a lot of IP to the table. We bring our production expertise and we've actually developed a done for you in 30 day course offering. There's limited spots if you would like to learn more about that please give us a bell we're really excited to have already completed two one for under the hood as to mention and one for asher artistry as part of developing these online courses we are still doing the good old content that we have always been doing we were doing a lot of brand films brand content photos um, and video we became uh, content sponsors for the Nelson Giants, which was really exciting. We did all their official headshots and we did a bunch of interviews and stuff which are rolling out through their um, social streams. Um, but you can jump onto the Giants website, see a whole lot of um, that content. Summer House and Rapoda Springs, again, always exciting to be working with uh, clients year on year. Marlborough region is known for their wine and the beautiful climate. And so we get to tell the wine stories of harvest. Um, from a whole range of different suppliers. Two of them are Summer House and La Poda Springs. We essentially go and capture content of the vineyard, capture the grapes coming into the facility. We talk to the growers, to the winemakers. Um, another client actually is the Marlborough Grape Growers Co-op, MGGC. We've learned a lot about their co-op structure in Marlborough, where they have over 80 growers, and they all are a part of the same business, essentially growing grapes and providing um, the beautiful Marlborough Grape to a whole range of labels across the world. Another job that was really fun to be a part of was a cultural conversations uh, piece in here in Nelson. So cultural conversations are a, uh, a local entity here in Nelson and that are all about pulling together the local voice of the cultural community uh, within Nelson and helping their stories get heard. This year they wanted to put together a art installation video piece. So there were three questions, there were 23 different individuals that we talked to and the final output was 230 seconds. Currently this project is being exhibited for the next month or so here in Nelson. After that it will be released online. But for now you can visit the refinery and go and check out the exhibition for yourself. Something else, what else has been going on? This is actually really big news. Big news. This is the biggest news. So way back before we even existed in Nelson, uh, we started in my garage in Bishopdale, then we moved to an office in Richmond. Now in that office, we had a man called Nick Polito come and essentially live with us or hot desk with us in the office and so he was part of the very slow journey over to Nelson where we set up this studio here at 15 Bridge Street and since that point he has developed a brand new business with his wife Hannah and it's called Square Kicker we've talked a little bit about it here and there but Square Kicker is essentially a no-code design extension for Squarespace they take over the entire like left side of the building with their 10 to 12 staff at the moment. But the exciting news for them and for us is that they're growing and they've actually decided to move back to Richmond to develop an entire office of their own, which is awesome. It's so cool for them. They've grown so much that they need their own space. But it leaves us with a whole lot of space over on the left hand side of our building. So that whole left hand side of the space, we've been thinking about uh, what we might do with that. And so we've engaged an agent 
to go out and see if there's anyone out there that would like to lease, sublease off us and lease that space from us or do we kick back in the uh, hot desking? If you want a space, if you need a space, if you know of anyone who would like to partner with some other local creatives and also to have access to a really awesome photography studio, then give us a buzz and we can keep chatting. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to log number 34. That's pretty much us in the update for this uh, log. If you want to check in or reach out to us and ask any questions about this space, please do so. For now, we'll see you in the next update. Lumia log 35, maybe in the next year or two. Maybe at our five-year birthday. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Appropriate. Did you say appropriate? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. All right. Peace out, everyone. That's what happens when you spend five years with somebody <laughs> in your ear every day. <laughs>